little uh, sharing out here. I'm going to live stream this on Facebook. And let's see. Put that in somewhere. Let's see. Collector's Playground, I think, should be all right with that. All right, starting the live stream on Facebook so people can see. And then we'll get started with some books. Hope everybody's ready to uh, see some nice stuff today. So we are going to take off that. <clears throat> All right. Um, what do we got? Uh, who do we have in the room that I see? We have Anthony Carter, got Brian Chamberlain, got Bryce, uh, a couple of Johnnies. Justin, uh, Amin, D, Jeremiah, Brian Asher just joined in with us. All right. <clears throat> so I've got uh, my setup here. You might see my ugly mug walk around a few times uh, just based on the way we have this set up. And uh, I'm going to get all my cameras ready. I completely forgot about turning my secondary camera on so I can show things up close if I want to. But share. There we go. Cameras, secondary camera. There we go. All right. So we're ready to get started, folks. Let's uh, take a look at some books. All right. Uh, let me know if you have any trouble hearing me. I've got uh, another mic over here. And uh, what we've got today uh, is we're going to do... Uh, Go through all of these uh, raw books that we have here, uh, and this isn't; uh, these aren't single books. These are stacks. You can see that the, every one of these is a stack that's deep in keys. And uh, we've also got a bunch of slabs. I've got uh, slabs across the top here; those three, and I've also got stacks of slabs on the side. And we'll go through that uh, over here. I've got a five-dollar pull box. So tell me you want uh, uh, you want uh, five dollar pulls or you want a uh, number of pulls you want two pulls or one pull or three or whatever and I will pull out of here and I tell you what I can't see there's some good books in here this is not uh, this is not uh, junk no filler in that uh, in that box uh, someone's growing a sexy beard yeah I haven't shaved in a couple of weeks uh, unfortunately it's all coming in a very very gray and not the kind of cool gray that looks good uh, so it'll be gone pretty soon so all right folks i want to start and go through some of the slabs and uh with pricing on those and uh anything you want claim in the chat if you have any questions feel free to either do them in the chat so i've got my ipad with the chat on it here or um let just uh, talk and let me know and we can talk about it so we've got a uh, Detective uh, 880 drop cover. This is a uh, CGC 92 white pages, beautiful looking book. Um, I've got uh, 220 or best offer. And I'm not gonna say we're best offer a million times. I'll say it occasionally, uh, but uh, everything that I'm putting up is really our best offer. So if you, if you uh, don't be shy about making offers, the worst I could possibly do is, is uh, say no or counter off you. So ask me 220 on the 92 Detective 880. And uh, see you there with the uh, Brian on the DVX 98. I will be getting down to there uh, shortly. Uh, we have uh, Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number eight. So this is a uh, 96 white pages. I just got this one back from CGC actually. And uh, 225 are best offer on the New Mutants, or not New Mutants, on the uh, <laughs> Marvel Super, uh, Secret Wars number eight. Uh, over here, this is a cool book. This is a 5-5 five, five, off white to white pages. Uh, this is the, uh, the original Ghost Rider, the, uh, the Western uh, hero before uh, Johnny Blaze, etc. So this is number one, 5-5 uh, five, five, off white to white pages, and uh, 210 or best offer on that book. Just to see, we got a couple of other uh, slides. I'll go through the slides. I may pull those out again as people come and, and uh, in and out of the show. 
But uh, and if anybody new has jumped in, uh, feel free to unmute yourself to ask questions uh, or dial into the audio uh, if you want to use the phone to ask questions or uh, uh, or anything like that. But claims uh, are made in the chat, please. So make uh, make any claims in the chat. Um, you have New Mutants uh, 87, first appearance of Cable. Uh, and I'm asking 225 or best offer on that. So feel free to make offers. Oh, here's a pretty one. This is uh, Fantastic Four, number one, the uh, the golden uh, record reprint. This is a CGC 6.0, white pages. These things are, uh, they they uh, they pretty much track uh, as far as value goes with what the, uh, the FFs do as they go up, these go up. This is uh, asking six hundred dollars uh, for this for the Golden Record reprint uh, in a six zero white pages. That's a nice little book. Uh, let's see more slabs. We have a Firestorm, the Nuclear Man, uh, number three, first appearance of Killer Frost. That's an eight five, and uh, asking seventy five or best offer on first appearance of Killer Frost. On the Western Ghost Rider, Anthony, that one is 210 or best offer on the, uh, the Western Ghost Rider. So feel free to make me an offer on that uh, if you are interested. <clears throat> ah, here's a beautiful Golden Age Timely. Uh, Marvel Comics, uh, Marvel Mystery Comics number 81 in a CGC 3.0. And uh, that 3 0 asking uh, on that is $450 or best offer on the Marvel Mystery Comics uh, 3 0. The cap on the cover, Human Torch, that's an awesome time to book. Uh, we've got a Daredevil number four, first appearance of the Purple Man in a uh, CGC 4 5. And uh, 150 or best offer on uh, Daredevil number four, first appearance of the Purple Man. Let's see. Just a few more slabs. I want to run through all the slabs and then we'll get to these stacks over here. I've got a Detective 385. Um, it is what it is. It's a 6 0 Detective 385 asking 60 or best offer on that. Um, Marvel Team Up number one in a 7 5 that has white pages and uh, 130 or best offer on Marvel Team Up number one. I've got uh, the Shadow uh, number one from 1973 uh, in a 7 0 off white to white pages. Uh, first uh, or no, this is the yeah, this is the first issue in the DC uh, Shadow from the seventies, and forty dollars for a best offer on the Shadow number one. Let's see. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, Captain Marvel number eight. Uh, this is a nine four white pages. This is the uh, the secret variant cover, and uh, forty bucks or best offer on Captain Marvel number eight uh, secret variant. Well, hey, all to you too. I can't read your name because my eyes are old. I don't have my glasses on, but uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, all right, last uh, couple of uh, bunches of slabs, and I'll rotate the ones on the top out. I just wanted to go through for everybody's in the room. Hey, Roger. Uh, we've got a uh, Amazing Spider-Man uh, 361, first appearance of Carnage, obviously, and a CGC 9.6. Uh, this is the uh, the direct edition, uh, and this is two fifty or best offer. We've got a uh, an amazing Spider Man three sixty one nine six newsstand, uh, and that is three hundred or best offer. We've got the amazing Spider Man uh, three sixty one nine four white pages. This is the direct, and that is two hundred or best offer. And let's see. Uh, Spider-Gwen, number one. This is the jscottcampbell.com variant. Let me, guys, let me know if I'm uh, not hitting the glare. I can't actually see my video while I'm back here. 
Um, 9.8, uh, Spider Gwen number one, J. Scott Campbell.com edition. Uh, and that is 125 or best offer. Uh, Marvel Premiere 47, uh, first uh, appearance of Scott Lang as Ant Man in a 6.5, off white, white pages. And that is 75 or best offer. And I've got a Thor number one, 9.8. This is the uh, Fiona Staples uh, incentive variant. Uh, Jane Foster is Thor, obviously. Uh, 200 or best offer. A Thor number one, Sarah Pacelli variant, uh, retail incentive variant. Uh, and that's also the 9.8 CBCS and 190 or best offer. We have a Venom uh, three. Third print or Venom 3 third print, first uh, appearance of Null, first cover of Null, and a 9 4 white pages. And that is 300 or best offer. And last slab of the night is a Savage She Hulk number one, 9 0 off white to white pages, uh, CBCS. And that is 200 or best offer on the 9 0 She Hulk number one. Uh, price on the Spider Gwen JSC is Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen. There we go. Nine eight, uh, 125 or best offer, Brian. 125 or best offer on Spider Gwen number one, J. Scott Campbell uh, exclusive. Set those over to the side. Let's move some of these slabs out of the way, and then we'll get to our stacks. And again, for the folks that are new in the room, I've also got a box over here of $5 pools, if anybody wants. Uh, price uh, of asking on the, the 361, uh, the 361s vary. I've got a 96 uh, direct, that's 250. I have a 96. Where are they? 96s. Okay, nine six is a nine four stuck everywhere. Ah, here we go. I've got a uh, nine six direct that is uh, two fifty, a nine four direct that is two hundred, and a nine six newsstand that is three hundred. Is the those are the asking prices on the three sixty ones? So one of three, one two three, take your pick. All right, we're going to start going through stacks. Somebody on mute and say something. Let me know I'm not here all alone. All right, let me see. Check my chats over here. Oh, awesome. We have a bunch of new folks. All right. Hey, new folks. Uh, glad you're uh, glad you're here. Um, well, we, since we got a bunch more, awesome. I hear you now. Cool. Uh, since we have a bunch more folks in the in the room, I'll just go over a couple of things uh, again. Uh, we uh, went through the slabs uh, and we'll be going back through those again later. Um, and I'll be swapping some out as we do. Go through the stacks. We've got stacks. Uh, these are all stacks of, of key books that will be up for, for sale. Everything's going to be uh, or best offer uh, tonight. Uh, you can feel free to unmute yourself and ask questions, chat, talk, what's, whatever, uh, um, if you want to, uh, to talk. Or uh, if you want, you can also uh, you know, ask questions in the chat. I know a lot of folks are doing that. And um, then, uh, but uh, one thing I do ask is that any claims be made in the chat. So, so we have, you know, I can, I can always definitely tell who was first if multiple people try to claim something and it's in the chat. I know who claimed it, so I don't have to, to guess over voice. So if you make a claim, make it in the chat. Uh, last thing is <laughs> you got young children. I got dogs, man. They, uh, you know, I'm lucky they're not in here uh, making it impossible to hear. Uh, is I've got a, a box over here of $5 pulls. No junk in that box. There's some good stuff in there. Uh, there's some bronze. Uh, there's um, some keys in there, uh, but uh, just stuff I've got a lot of. So, um, all right, let me get to the chat for a second. Uh, somebody wants me to do Star Wars first. 
260 for the new stand 96. I would do Brian, if you hit me at 275, I can do that at 275 for the new stand 96. I can I can do 275 for that if, if you're up for it. All right. And while you think on that, I'm going to start pulling out stacks. We'll start with uh, Star Wars. I think there's some Star Wars scattered through here, but uh, this is an awesome Star Wars stack. Um, all right. We're going to start off with Star Wars number one, 1977. Actually, I'm going to take these, uh, this around and I'm going to show some things to you guys. Standing up the big stuff. What have I got here? Uh, so we're going to show you these up a little closer. Uh, this is the uh, the Star Wars number one. As you can see, it's got some color breaking spine ticks. They're not bad, but they're there. Otherwise, this is a really nice, clean copy. I will say on the back, there is a tear. It's about a about an eighth of an inch uh, over here on the side on the back. It is Star Wars number one, and the asking price on this is 140 or best offer on Star Wars number one. Hey Jeremiah, all right, we'll uh, we'll swap off uh, for the, the the camera for a moment, and uh, Jeremiah wants five or four or five dollar pulls, so we'll do that. All right, Brian, Brian, I got you on this for 140. I'll write that one down while we do Jeremiah's pulls. Brian, you are going down to VA, as in VA Baracus. And I will put that down for you. And Jeremiah, without looking, I'm just going to reach over here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. There we go. Let's see what you got. Uh, Marvel Zombies uh, Resurrection, number one. Awesome. Uh, we got Amazing Spider-Man 257. Nice black suit Spidey. Um, Fantastic Four number one uh, variant. This is the one with uh, with Grimm on it. And Ultimate Comics Wolverine number one. So good ones. I like that. Awesome. So we'll put those down for Big Jeremiah. <clears throat> the five dollar pulls again peter i've got uh i've got a box there i think it's now got 70 i had 75 books in it it's got 71 left uh they're five dollars a piece i'll just reach in there and uh pull out uh, you know blindly whatever number of claims you want for five bucks a piece and you get those books for five bucks a piece um, there's no junk in there, you know. There, there, there are no dollar books in that. Um, it's, it's some good stuff, and then there's some really good stuff in there. Um, but all right, folks, we'll get back to the Star Wars and Star Wars stack. This works. I can bring this stack over here and then just show them. This is Star Wars number sixty-eight. Around Star Wars sixty-eight. This is the uh, the first uh, mention of the Mandalorians. See, this is a nice, nice, clean copy. It could use a press. You can see I've got a little color break right there. That dent will press out. That little color break in the S won't. So it's not a perfect book. It's not a 9.8, but this is still a very, very high grade copy of this. There we go. Nice, clean spine. A little dent there. That's a dent, though. It's not a I don't think that breaks color. If it does, but anyway, there's the dent. There's a little nudge. All in all, very nice uh, copy of that. Star Wars 68. I'm asking uh, 160 or best offer on Star Wars 68. First mention of the Mandalorian. Hey, Parson. You got it. Uh, you got it, Brian. All right. Uh, I will do that, man. 140. You got it. We'll Mark this one down for Brian. All 
And guys, if I'm a little uh, discombobulated around, I am, uh, this is a whole new setup. I've got new walking room and everything. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll get used to it. <laughs> it's dang, dang, dang. All right, uh, next in the Star Wars stack. We've got uh, Star Wars Heir to the Empire, number one. We'll go over this one. You can see it's got a little rough corner. Nice sharp corner there. Nice sharp corner there. A little corner blunt there. Does that go up? Just that little bit of corner there and there is about all that's wrong with that book. And uh, this one um, is 130 or best offer on uh, Star Wars Heir to the Empire. Claim, Brian, thank you, sir. Mr. Chamberlain. Got you at, uh, what do I have it at? 1.30. Brian is the man. This has been the Brian show so far today. Brian Asher and Brian Chamberlain. All right, uh, next in our Star Wars. Oh, this is a big boy. Knights of the Old Republic, number nine. Ain't she a beaut? And wait till you see this one. Get there. See, I like this when I'm doing it up close because I can actually see what I'm doing. A little dust on the bag there, sorry. You seen the little white specks? They're on the bag, not the book. First print, obviously. Look at how clean that bad boy is. That's a nice copy of this book. That's a really, really nice copy of this book. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, number nine. And asking $450 or best offer for Knights of the Republic. Number nine, that's, well, you saw it. It's a beautiful copy. Uh, the ASM Rhino cover, we're going to get there. We're going, uh, we're going stack by stack. Right now we're going through uh, the uh, uh, Star Wars stack, and we're going to move along. Yeah, the stacks you see on the, uh, the left-hand side of your screen, and there's some more, and we'll be going through all those. And uh, the, they're all stacks of keys. Um, these, this is, these are big boy books. Let's see. Your laptop speakers suck. Yeah, I've got, uh, some as well. All right. So this is the way, just making sure I haven't missed anybody's comments. All right. So we're 450 or best offer on Knights of the Old Republic 9. Now we've got a nice common number six. And we'll look at this one as well. See, it's got a little blunted corner. Nice and sharp there. Sharp. First print. I say first print. I don't know if all any of these have other prints or not. I just I know some of them do. So beautiful looking spine. Uh, Star Wars Canaan number six is two hundred or best offer for Canaan number six. Uh, Austin, Silver Age Batman. Uh, Austin, I have a ton of Silver Age Batman, but I don't have it today. Um, this, this is what I have in here today that I could even access, and uh, none of it's DC, uh, except there are a couple of DC books, I think, in the, uh, in the, in the pull box. But um, I will be adding in DC uh, probably next week's show, but this, this week's show is 99.9% .9 Marvel. Uh, all right, so we were at uh, what, 200 or best offer for Canaan 6. Uh, here's a cool one, uh, Canaan uh, number one. I know somebody the other day was asking me about this. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know who iPhone is, but uh, no DC today. The only DC I have today, there are a couple things in the pull box, and I have that uh, Tech 880, uh, Jock Tech 880. That's there. Uh, and that uh, Tech Slab was... Uh, 220 or best offer on the 92 uh, Tech 880. Yeah, and, and I'm I, uh, I'm going to have a ton of uh, DC next week. I just didn't I just pricing Marvel this week. 
Uh, all right, uh, we got Canaan number one. This is the uh, um, this is a variant cover. I forget which one's uh, like animated variant cover of Canaan number one. Yeah, got nice corners. Go through. Just a pretty copy of this book. Variant four, first print. Get my chubby hand out of the way so you can see. Got a little, looks like, I don't know if it's dust. What was that? I don't know if that's on the color or if that's color rub or, or not, or if the colors are like that. That's uh, that little spot there. Let's see. Uh, but. Uh, Otherwise, beautiful, clean book. Uh, 75 or best offer on Canaan number one variant. <laughs> I got a lot of DC, Jeremiah. I uh, just don't have it out here today. Uh, all right, uh, Darth Vader, Star Wars Darth Vader number three. Uh, first Dr. Aphra, first print. And again, got a little ding. That's actually, uh, what do they call that? It's a uh, bindery tear, small bindery tear on the corner. Very small, like uh, 32nd of an inch or something. But still there. Nice sharp edges, sharp corner there. Oops. Another nice sharp corner. And, oops, get the thumb out of the way. And a nice looking spine. Beautiful near mint copy, Star Wars, uh, uh, Darth Vader number three, first Dr. Aphra, 125 or best offer on that book. And that's our Star Wars stack. So let's go grab another. And again, anybody interested in any of these, uh, just uh, uh, unmute and ask or uh, type in the chat and I'll grab it. So we're going, uh, going through. Uh, next stack we're going to go with is this one. I think this is a mishmash, mostly Spider-Man. Mostly Spider-Man. 110 for the S or the, for the Canaan. Uh, Brian, yeah, I'll do that, Brian. I'll do one, uh, let me say 110 for that. Let me grab it. Yeah, everybody, don't be afraid to make offers. I, uh, there's the occasional book where I am uh, firm on it, but I usually am open to reasonable offers. I'll even listen to unreasonable offers. I just may not accept them. <laughs> oh, the Star Wars one. Ah, sorry, man. <laughs> I was like, okay, you want to buy it? Star Wars one. You already bought that, man. Didn't you? Somebody claimed it. Let me look. Star Wars 1. Yeah, it's already, you already you claimed that when I showed it, Brian. Or did I miss that? Maybe I misinterpreted what you were saying. Anyway, Brian, let me know. I thought you already claimed it, or if you didn't, then uh, it's still out if, uh, at uh, 140. You had the 361. Okay. Who did I give that to? Strange. Let's see. All right. Give me just one second, guys. I got a little miss you up, y'all. I got Brian for the 68. I got uh, Chamberlain for the Heir to the Empire. I got Brian for the 361. Okay, Brian, uh, Brian, you got the, uh, I know you, Brian, you got the uh, 68 for 140. And the 361 for, the 361 for 275? Is that the one? Anyway, <laughs> clear that up for me. Okay, you got the 361 for 275 and the Star Wars 68 for whatever that was for. Correct. All right. I'll get you on that. Yeah. Sorry, I missed this one. 
for 275. So we got you a 96 uh, newsstand 275. Got it. All right, folks. Sorry about that. I uh, got a little confused. Do I have DC? I will be having some DC next week, so I've got some good stuff. Oh, wait, here's a DC. How about that one. Anybody want to uh, feel free to make me an offer on, on this one if anybody uh, wants that because I haven't priced it out yet, but uh, I might take an offer on it. Since people are asking for DC. All right, back to the show. All right, so we have uh, Brian. I want to think on this Star Wars one. Uh, at uh, you offered one ten four. Um, so I have Star Wars number one, um, one forty or best offer. The one I showed before. Uh, let me get that back up here. Star Wars one, one forty or best offer. Um, Brian, I'll think on that one ten, man. I, I don't know. Yeah, Brian, I'll take 120. If you want to do 120, I'll take it. Gotcha. All right, let me write that down for you, and then we'll go up with some Spidey in this next batch. 120. Perfect. See, back on track. All right, folks, next stack. I think this stack is mostly Spider-Man. Uh, 252. Let me show it to you guys. Hey, Wesley. Let me show it to you, see what you're getting. We got a, uh, got a zoom in there, got a little uh, boundary tear and a little color break right there. Got a little rough corner right there. See if I go down, this one's nice and sharp. Very sharp across the bottom. And that's just normal corner. Where? Yeah, ignore. I know I've got some dirt in my fingers. I've been digging these boxes all day. A little color rub, maybe a little tiny spot. You can see how small it is. But in general, I'd say a uh, very fine plus, uh, maybe a near mint minus copy of Amazing Spider Man 252. Um, and 120 or best offer is what I've got on that. 120 or best offer. Uh, Parson, no, nah, man, I just sold my, uh, I had a 9.8 uh, copy of ASM 300, and uh, I sold it like a week ago. Um, that, that was the only copy of 300 that I had left. Um, Roger, I do my show on Zoom uh, because, for a couple of reasons, uh, but the biggest reason is there's no lag. Um, it's easier for me to do this multi-camera setup this way just because of the way I have it set up, but the, the no lag is the big one. Because um, you're like if you have a bunch of people bidding, it's not this person has faster internet and this one has a bad connection or it's a, you know, the moon's in the wrong phase. Everybody's real time. Uh, all right, next on our list, this is not Spider-Man, this is Iron Man 55. This is a mid-grade copy. Let me show it to you. You can see, needs a clean, needs a press, because I haven't done any of that yet. We've got a little piece missing out of the corner right there. So this is lower grade. Got some color breaks, just general wear. You see that line, little piece right there. This book has been read. But it is Iron Man 55, first uh, Thanos, I believe, and Drax. So nice, uh, uh, I'd say lower mid-grade. This is what, probably a three, so on the low end uh, of, uh, of, the, of the chart, but still a beautiful, complete, and attached Iron Man 55, nice grail book, uh, 330 or best offer on Iron Man. 55. Uh, I'm in, I do actually, it's in one of these stacks uh, uh, that I'll be pulling out. I do have the uh, War Machine issue of Iron Man 2, what is that, 282, I think. 
Uh, yes, Facebook is, uh, that's another reason too, is uh, Facebook censorship. Um, right now I'm live streaming on Facebook, so I have to watch what I show, but I can have uh, some of the, the naughtier books when I do those sales and not stream to Facebook, just do Zoom. And then I can show things without having to spend you know two hours taping over naughty bits. All right, uh, next, Amazing Spider-Man, number 41. Show you this one. This, I think, is a decent looking copy of this. Obviously, it has 60 years of being in a box where the wear on it. But overall, not bad. You know, we got some color breaking, some read increases, but nothing major. Really, not nothing that's a I would call a deal breaker. I mean, it's not going to break the nines, but this I think is a is a solid copy of this book. First appearance of the Rhino. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous copy of that. Um, Two fifty or best offer is what I'm asking for that. Um, I was in a show the other night and they sold a three o for three twenty five. Uh, I think this is a better looking copy than that was, um, and uh, just asking two fifty for that. The price on the Iron Man 55 uh, Caesar is uh, $330 or best offer. Uh, and the price on the Ghost Rider 55 is $200 or best offer, I think is what that is. Right around thereabouts. Ah, next on the list, we have Avengers number 48, first Black Knight. And I'll show you this book. This is a solid mid-grade book. Needs a clean, needs a press, because I haven't done any of that. Got a color break there. Whoop. Color break there. Like I said, this is a solid mid-grade copy of this book. It's got its flaws, but it doesn't have anything major. And uh, 250 or best offer on that for the uh, Avengers 48 first Black Knight. Iron Man 55, Roger was Iron Man 55. Uh, 330 or best offer, Roger. She can make me an offer on that. I'm asking 330, but make me an offer. Um, Avengers 46, uh, it was, it's Avengers 48, um, was 250 or best offer on Avengers 48. And what did I have on that? Tell you what, Anthony, or not, it wasn't Anthony, it was Parson. Uh, yep, Parson, I'll do that. 90 bucks. A hey, uh, Parson, let me know who you are because I don't know right now. All the names are different from Facebook, so I don't really know. But uh, send me a message uh, on Facebook uh, and uh, let me know, and we'll get it. Uh, they, oh, hey, Parson, um, dude, um, do me a favor. And uh, I, I see it here. You sent me a direct message. Now, uh, don't send the, I, I don't uh, do PMs on the uh the claims i didn't even notice that was a pm uh make sure that you include every that you type in the chat so if you uh if you want the this for 90 then type it in the uh in the main chat not to everybody and not just to me that's that's got to be fair i have to let everybody see the claims that are coming up i can't uh you know be taking claims that are just coming to me Yeah, thanks for catching that, guys. I didn't even notice it. So, Parson, uh, if you want this at, uh, at 90, I'll do it, but you have to claim it in the main chat. Uh, well, Bryce wants the 41, 352, and now you're killing me, man. Killing me, Smalls. Not again, Brian. I've learned. Well, that's a 48. This is a 41. You know what, Brian? I will do that. Or Bryce, I'm sorry, Bryce. 
You got it. Sorry, Parson, man, but I can't take private claims. Uh, Bryce, you got it. Uh, 300 for this and ASM 41. Got you, man. Yeah, and everybody in the uh, in the meeting, uh, uh, definitely uh, when I say uh, the reason I only take claims in chat is so there's no uh, there's no dispute about who claimed something and, and who claimed it first. Uh, but uh, uh, that's why, you know, you, you have to claim in the public uh, in the public chat. <laughs> it happens, Parson, man, it happens. Mega beast. Uh, see, what do we say? Marvel Comics, uh, Golden Two. I can't do that, Anthony. I can't go that low on that book, man. These are hard to come by. Even hard to come by when I can't find it. Uh, what was I asking for that? I was asking four fifty. I, I can't do two fifty on it. I, I just can't. Um, it's too pretty. These are too hard. The, the, the timely, uh, the golden age timely books are, are just too hard to find. <clears throat> hey, somebody unmuted. Awesome. Like I said, guys, uh, anybody who's in, feel free to unmute. Uh, and uh, if you uh, feel free to unmute and I uh, and ask questions and, and whatnot, uh, just uh, for anybody uh, who's just coming to the room, the um, uh, you can talk if you want or ask questions on uh, on voice, but if you make a claim, make it in the chat uh, so everybody has a record of the chat. Uh, best price, uh, Anthony. I I do three fifty. I, I could let that go for three fifty, but that's that's I gotta gotta stay on uh, on that. Uh, Chuck, if I were to look at it, uh, I have it at. A six, five, or seven is where I would put it. Yeah, you know, in my opinion, on that Avengers 48. <laughs> Proof of life. <laughs> She's not in here. She's taking care of the dogs. So they don't, uh, so they don't get me. Uh, I think I got everybody's offers and claims. I think we're caught up. Uh, but yeah, that's a that's a nice clean looking uh, clean looking copy of that. Uh, <clears throat> so next next we have Amazing Spider-Man 121. This is the death of Gwen Stacy. Now I'm going to show you this. This uh, pretty nice on the outside. We got you can see a little color breaking line that goes there. Crease. Got some color break increases on the corner. A little roughness there. Got a color break there. I think that might that might be as I'll call that a little tear. Right there, we have uh, color breaks. Like I said, this thing this has definitely been red, and uh, this does have a detached centerfold. The detached centerfold here. Uh, in this book, it is the death of Gwen Stacy. It's a nice, oh, I got sideways, a nice book, but it does have an attached centerfold. I'm asking 165 or best offer on uh, the ASM 121. Uh, price on the Thor one. Uh, you're talking about the uh, the slabs, uh, Amon. The uh, the uh, Jane Foster uh, slabs. Oh yeah, uh, one is two hundred for the Fiona Staples and one eighty for the uh, Sarah Pacelli. All right, next in the Spider Man line, we have ASM Fitty. First appearance of Kingpin. This one is it's a rough one. Uh, this is actually a really rough copy, low grade. Uh, it is complete and attached. But as you can see, it's it's seen wear. So it's got wear all around. Some heavy read increases. And this. Anybody thinking about buying this, look at this. Those holes are little pinholes where some asshole 
I don't know what they were using, they stuck pins through it. They, they go through most of the book, those little pinholes. So this, this is a low grade copy of this book. Um, I've got 200 on it. I will take 150 on this copy of uh, uh, ASM uh, 50 first appearance of Kingpin. So I, I, I had 200, I'll take 150. Uh, Cause I think it's about a 2.0. Uh, and I usually price the lower ones at about a hundred and uh, about a hundred bucks a point, but I'll take 150 on that. Yeah, I know it does look like somebody's playing darts with it. But uh, honestly, with a little care, you could get those down where they're not, uh, a nice press would get these down where they're not noticeable. It'd take a little while. Uh, Cause you have to, you'd have to kind of fold each one down and through the pages and then press it flat. So it wasn't bumpy. But the, the holes are never going to go away. They're still there. So 150 if anybody wants that. And I've got another copy. This is a better copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 50. As you can see, it does have wear. Again, attached and complete. Same reading wear. Got a, uh, got a crease there. And not nearly as bad creased on the side. And no holes. Got a sub crease though. Well, it doesn't really have a sub crease. It's got something that's almost like a sub crease. That's not in the middle. The middle's over here, but it does have a long crease right there. But uh, well, this, I'd, I'd put this one, this is a solid 3.0 um, in this book. I, I'd say this is a solid 3.0 copy of this book. And I'm asking 300 or best offer on the, uh, yeah, it's Ramita did some great work, man. Some great work. Ah, and last in this stack is Fantastic Four number 16. Check out that awesome Doom cover. Fantastic Four number 16. I would normally say this is probably somewhere again around a three, but it is detached. The cover is detached. I did not know that when I bought it. I paid too much for it. I'm asking 100 bucks or best offer on this, and I'm losing money at $100 on Fantastic Four because I paid more than that for it. But I didn't know the cover was detached, and it is. So Fantastic Four number 16, great Doom cover, 100 bucks or best offer. <clears throat> Wesley, I do not have a Werewolf by Night uh, 32. I certainly do not. I've never actually owned one of those. ASM 121, um, like I said, the center folds detached, but I'd still put it at a three um, on the 121, Johnny. Uh, certainly, Anthony, let me pull it up when I go back here to get the, uh, the stack. Wes has been looking. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that werewolf. By, I've never owned a werewolf by night 32. Never have. So I'll put the stack back up here. And again, you guys, I, I'll always bring out anything. Let me bring over this uh, Marvel uh, Mystery Comics to, for Anthony to look at. And uh, here we go. We have a 3-0 Marvel Mystery Comics 81. Oops, just had this one slide. Pardon the glare for this. I actually probably don't even need that ceiling light. I've got all kinds of natural light. There we go. Let me get rid of that top glare. And we'll flip her over. And that's what got you your 3 0 down here. This little discoloration. This Deep tanning over here where the paper dried out. Anyway, there you go. All right, let me grab the next stack. <clears throat> Let's see. We'll go here. And uh, again, uh, for folks that have just come into the show, I have a ton of slabs uh, that I went through. And I can go through those again in a bit. Uh, once we get past this middle row, this stack and the next stack, I'll go through the slabs one more time so you can see those. But I've got the three up top, but there are a ton of slabs uh, over on the on the side. Thor 165 is available, right? Um, I, I do have a Thor 165, I think. 
Let me check. I've got my entire inventory right here too, by the way. So I know what I have. <laughs> Let's see, Thor Mighty. L M M M M. There we go, Mighty Thor. Yeah, I think I do have one. I don't know if I have it out yet. Um, I, I'll, since I, I don't know if I have it out, if it's not in the stack, I can look at it toward the end of the show and see if I've got it. Oh, the first hymn. No, I do not have that. Uh, shipping prices, just real quick for everybody. Uh, one to seven books, eight bucks. That's flexible. It depends on the book. Like a uh, thick book, you can get like seven books in a, in a Gemini mailer. Uh, for the modern books, it tends to be more books. So basically, if it fits in a Gemini mailer, it's eight bucks. The, the up to 30 books is a medium flat rate box. Uh, and that's, you know, just 30 comics stacked up. Um, so what will fit in a medium flat rate box is uh, uh, $15. And uh, slabs are 15 bucks. I, I can get like three slabs in a medium flat rate box. Uh, and uh, anything 30 or over is 28 because it needs a large box and I got to ship it separately. Um, so that's how that goes. Jeremiah, I can't do that on the slab. They're going for more than that. Um, I've got some raw if you want to talk to me later, uh, maybe message me later. I've got some, I've got like, I don't know, five or six raw copies of 361 as well. All right, uh, where are we at? Make sure I'm caught up. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk later. I've got those, those raw. I've got a bunch of those. So that's the shipping costs, folks. <coughs> and back to the magic. All right, next stack, we've got a New Mutants 98 first Deadpool. No, this is not the uh, facsimile. This is the original. I just sold a 9.8 of this. So here, this is a nice high grade copy. Never been pressed or cleaned. And it does need a little love because you got a little, a little hint of tanning. You might be able to clean that out. I don't know if it's dirt or tanning. I think it's probably dirt since it doesn't go other places but anyway see how it's a little darker right there right on the edge a beautiful looking copy new mutants 98 first appearance of our lovely friend deadpool and 350 or best offer on new mutants 98. <clears throat> next is uh, spider gwen 24 first gwenum uh, this also is a beautiful copy and there's dust on the bag Book is nice and clean. You see my reflection. This is a nice near mint copy of this book. A beautiful, beautiful copy. Let's see, does this one have a corner ding? Zoom in. I have, I have two copies of this. One had a corner, a little corner ding. Yeah, that's got a little corner ding right there. You can see a little corner crunch. I have another copy of this as well. I'm a big uh, Gwenum, Gwenpool, Spider Gwen fan. So first appearance of uh, Gwenum and 50 bucks for best offer on first Gwenum. Uh, next in line is uh, Astonishing Tales number 25. This is the first Deathlock. And uh, this one is actually signed by George Perez. Uh, no COA, unfortunately, but it is signed by Perez. Um, and needs to be cleaned a little bit there. I'll show you this. This is actually a beautiful copy of the book, but it's got a little bit of a smudge there. We'll see that smudge? That's an ink smudge, I think, from when it was signed. Somebody laid their, probably George laid his, his ink stained mitts on it. So it's got that ink uh, smudge there. Otherwise, this is a gorgeous copy of this book, signed by George Perez. 50 bucks or best offer on this book on first death lock. Uh, 40 for Spider Gwen, Bryce. Yes, Bryce, I will take that. Let me write you down.
Dr. Bryce, thank you, sir. All righty. All right, next in line, uh, oh, Spider-Man number one. Everybody's seen this one. This is still in the poly bag. Spider-Man number one. You probably got one. <laughs> but uh, just uh, 15 or best offer on uh, still poly bag, Spider-Man number one. Uh, we've got a uh, Immortal Hulk number one. Go over this one. This is a nice new ink copy of Immortal Hulk number one. Pretty, pretty, pretty print. Just nice looking copy. Immortal Hulk number one. 50 bucks your best offer on Immortal Hulk number one. Ah, uh, Marvel, all new Marvel now point one. Isn't that a mouthful? Uh, Austin, yes. I will do that, Austin. Break you down, 35. Uh, and Bryce, yes, I will do 10. See guys, the, uh, the the folks who uh, make offers, they get uh, they get some deals. I am very very open to offers. Uh, Anthony, I can't do twenty five on the death lock. I mean that it's signed by Perez, and it is the first. You know, it is a a a, a good key. I could do give me thirty five, thirty five, and it's yours, Anthony. Gotcha. Man, I, I, the, the uh, New Means 98 has not sold yet, uh, Charles. Let's see. Uh, price and grade. Let me show you the book, Charles. I'll go over it again. I've got it right here. So let me put these uh, ones that have been bought off to the side. And I will show you. Uh, <coughs> Just go over it. This is really the only issue here is it's got a little uh, brown right there. I don't know if that can be cleaned or if it's tanning. Could just be dirt because I've had none of these have been cleaned or pressed. I've uh, got uh, some X Men coming up, uh, Austin. Yes. And uh, so, Charles, I'll go over this with you. Again, nice sharp corners. And I got a little corner. Well, that's corner ding, or that's the color. Uh, that's just a color of the of the cover. Haha, <laughs> straight line. Sorry, I want to make sure that wasn't dinged. It's the color, but uh, it has a little color break. So still a very, very high uh, grade copy of this book. I'm asking 350 or best offer, Charles, for that book. And Austin, back to you. Yes, we do have uh, some X Men keys coming up. A couple, three. I can't remember exactly uh, which ones they are. First Gambit, I think. Uh, first Jubilee. First Mister Sinister. That stuff. Hey, thanks, Charles. Appreciate it. And again, uh, everything is uh, OBO. So feel free to throw me an offer. Mm -hmm. mm, 248. I had it 450. That's 650 for. I can't go that low, Anthony. I think I've got, if I'm not mistaken, I've got 650 on those uh, combined. And so I can't, yeah, I can't go down to 300. <laughs> Buck Austin. <clears throat> All right, uh, all new Marvel Now point one. See, y'all did this just to make me say that mouthful again. Uh, first, uh, Kamala Khan is uh, Miss Marvel. And so we've got just a little bindery thing in the corner there. That, honestly, you can still get nine eights with that. I have plenty of them that have that, but nice sharp corners. Nice sharp corner there. Again, the binder tear there on the corner. Minute. I mean, those are nearly imperceptible. Beautiful looking spine. 
Well, we're all gorgeous book. Uh, again, first Kamala Khan, this is the first print. Second print's a different color down there. I think it's blue or something. Uh, 150 or best offer on the Kamala Khan. <laughs> oh, wow. Banned uh, for five more hours. Oh, is that in, oh, ha, ha. got into Facebook jail. Man, I've, uh, I walk the line on Facebook because I get 30 days every time I breathe. So I walk, I've been walking the line for a while. All right, uh, next, Amazing Fantasy, number one. First, Aranya. Go over this one real quick. Make sure I focus. And just a beautiful near mint copy. Most of my modern stuff is in really good shape. All right, first appearance of Aranya. This thing's been heating up. I don't know why. I guess it's a Spider Woman movie and some spec or a show. I, I don't keep up with that stuff. 40 bucks or best offer for the first Aranya. Uh, it is not from Mexico, uh, but uh, all right, Brian, gotcha. Uh, that is not from Mexico, but uh, just a uh, Spanish name. Uh, what is the Mexican Spider-Man? I read one of those once. Um, I can't speak Spanish to save my life, but I can read it um, very well. I just get tongue tied when I try and speak it. Um, and, uh, but it was El Hombre Araña, I think, what is the Mexican Spider-Man. It's actually, it's not, none of it's canon. It's weird, but it's, they're cool to find. <clears throat> Yeah, Aranya Spider. Um, Roger, I don't think so, but I have to look through my boxes to see if I have another one. I might, I, I don't think I have another Aranya. Uh, let's see. Spider. <laughs> so that was 75. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Um, Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, Fidel, I, I was really used to it when, back when I used to go to Guatemala all the time. I used to work down there. Guatemala and Puerto Rico, I was in like half the year. I was in one or the other. Uh, but it's been a long time, so I kind of lost it. You know, it fades. Um, let's see. I will, Roger. I'll let you know. Um, all right. We have uh, Amazing Spider-Man, number 49. Awesome Craven cover. Let me show you this. This is a nice uh, looking copy. You don't see these, uh, I'll tell you what, these ASMs, the silver ASMs are just out of pure crazy. People are hunting these things down. They're paying crazy money for them, trying to make runs. This is a nice looking copy of, uh, of that. Look at that, still shines. Uh, 75 or best offer on the Amazing Spider-Man 49. Yeah, Bryce is buying them all. Uh, no Jordan, no 68. Uh, 68 sold. What would uh, grade that Marvel Point One? Amon, uh, that's a that's a near mint, near mint plus. If you ask me, in my honest opinion, it's uh, nine four or better, probably better on the point one. It's, that's a beautiful looking copy of that book. All right, on to the next stack. We've got one more stack. We'll go over the slabs again, then we're on the bottom row. Let's see, this, there we go. I like this setup, bringing these books over here and doing them this way. All right, folks. Uh, oh, we'll start this uh, stack off with a good one. Iron Fist, number 14, first appearance of Sabretooth. We'll go over this book. Again, has not been cleaned or pressed. Could use it. Could use a press, that's for sure. I see a lot of pressable defects on here. But that's fine. Look at that, how clean that is. It's a nice copy of this book.
First appearance of Sabretooth. New stand, I don't know if they all were back then, maybe. Uh, 300 uh, or best offer on first appearance of Sabretooth. I'll take it, Asher. You got it, man. 280 on uh, Iron Fist. When is payment expected? I will be sending out invoices probably tomorrow. Uh, I, the Heritage Auction is right after this, and I got some big boys that I'm looking at for my personal collection. Um, and um, so I probably won't be invoicing tonight. I'll invoice voice tomorrow. I usually expect it within two days of invoicing, unless you make arrangements with me. If you make arrangements with me beforehand, <laughs> Brian's laughing. Uh, Oh, yeah, Brian, we have to pay. Yes, you have to pay. All right. uh, but, Parson, yeah, usually a couple of days. Um, if it's something big that you want to bid on and you want to make a payment plan with me, I can work with you on that. Um, I just want you, I, I need you to, to let me know. Uh, so I'm not expecting, you know, the, uh, I know to put the invoices, partial payments, and I talk to you beforehand and work out the payments. Yeah, Parson, that's fine. Like I said, as long as you let me know before. Uh, and yeah, Fidel, as long as you let me know beforehand, that's cool. Um, you know, like you're letting me know now, that's all right. Just don't wait until I send the invoice out and it's four days later and then I have to find out that it's going to be, you know, Friday. That's cool. Um, so let me remember who claimed this. This was Brian Asher for 280. But yeah, I, I'm cool with that. No problem. If, if, it, if it's, you know, if you haven't gotten your stimulus yet or you're waiting for payday or something, that's cool. Just let me know so I know what to expect. Communication is key. You know, I don't do this uh, stuff because I need the money. Um, this isn't my job. I do this because I love comics and buying and selling comics lets me buy the books that I want, you know, the, the stuff that I'm after. So I, I love helping people find stuff. So, you know, I, I can be flexible. I can work with it. There is no free shipping tier, Brian, but uh, yes, <laughs> I'll ship these to you for free, Brian. No problem. You you have spent enough, Brian, that I with me today because I sold Brian some stuff uh, this morning too. Uh, just uh, and uh, so yeah, I'll there'll be no shipping charge for you. <laughs> it's a, a shipping charge for you is a rounding error. No private show. We just had a conversation on some stuff he was looking at last night. Um, all right, folks, we got uh, Devil Dinosaur, number one. Let me show you this one. I have two copies of this. One I'm keeping because I love it, love, love it. But this one I'm selling. Um, got, uh, again, a little color break there on the corner. Color breaks there. I put this one at a, a fine, fine, or VF minus. You know, it's not a nine eight, but it's a, it's a nice copy. So you have a fine plus VF minus. Devil Dinosaur number one, first appearance of Devil Dinosaur, and first appearance of Moon Boy. But nobody cares about Moon Boy. Uh, they only care about Moon Girl. So that one is 30 bucks or best offer on Devil Dinosaur. Yep, Anthony got you, man. It's yours. Uh, first appearance of Anti-Venom. What issue is that? And I could probably tell you because I don't know what all of the issues are. Who is the first? Which uh, comic's the first Anti-Venom? I got lots of uh, moderns that I actually don't know anything about. I don't know who's the first this or that, unless it's the characters that I like, and then I know. Otherwise, I have to. 569. I can tell you right one second. Uh, any more Devil Dino? I have a cherry near mint copy of that, Austin, but I don't know if I want to sell it yet. 
16, 5, 69. I've got, uh, I do have all of my SM listed here, so I can tell you if I got 569 real quick. That's volume two. 569. Yes, I do have that. I have uh, 569B, the uh, variant, the Adi Granov Venom cover. I do have that. <laughs> sell the other devil dino. I don't know if I want to sell the other devil dino. Come back next week. I might have the other, other devil dino on. All right, next in line, we have uh, Thor, number five. First appearance of Black Winter. First print. Again, a beauty, near mint, crisp copy of Thor, number five. First appearance of Black Winter. First print. There are a couple of second prints in that $5 pull box, I know. So, anyway, we have 50 bucks for best offer on Thor 5. Yeah, uh, Austin, actually, I'll... Oh, here it is. <clears throat> I know exactly where it was, so... That bad boy, look at that, it is clean. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So you might be able to talk me out of this one, but I do kind of like it. But anyway, let's do that later, not on the show. Um, <clears throat> uh, Gambit is up next, uh, Amber, and Gambit is up next. First she even, um, yeah, okay. Oh, hey, Jordan, <laughs> welcome. Hey, uh, all right, so we got uh, Thor 5, uh, first black winner, 50 or best offer. Uh, ASM 569, yeah, let's talk about ASM 569 later, Austin, and I'll, uh, I, I can pull that up, or whoever wants it, just message me uh, on Facebook and we can chat, because I know I've got it in my ASM box over there. Uh, all right, this is, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 260, or Amazing Spider-Man, getting loopy here. Uncanny X-Men 266, uh, first appearance of Gambit. You can see it's got that uh, uh, offset uh, print that so many in this era had. A lot of those issues had that. So no, that is not trimmed. It is as long as it's supposed to be. Um, that happened a lot during, during this time, just offset uh, printing. And here's a copy. I just uh, traded 198 and sold a 98 of this last week, too. This one's not a 98, but it is a nice near mint copy, but it's not going to hit a 98. Uh, I'll, I'll call this one very fine to near mint minus. Uh, 120 or best offer on X Men 266. Uh, I can't do 90. <laughs> you guys are going to get up to the 120. Right now I'm at 105 um, and I can do that. I can do 105, not 106. It's not an auction. It's not an auction. Sorry, uh, uh, Brian, I already called it to, uh, uh, to Austin for 105. <laughs> Uh, man, if you guys want me to auction some books, I got a nice crowd in here. I didn't know I had this many people where I would actually would have had some books to, au to auction. Because, man, you can make some money auction when you got a couple people who want stuff. But um, no, I, I uh, already agreed to Austin's 105, so. Uh, kick Austin. <laughs> I can't kick Austin. It's too far away. Uh, all right, I got a couple of these. Uh, so first two to claim we'll get uh, we'll get these um, amazing Spider-Man uh, or not amazing but just Spider-Man number one this is the uh, Clayton Crane um, what do they call that not replicant that's uh, accidentally 
Yes, facsimile, thank you. Um, near Mint, Clayton Crane, facsimile of uh, Spider-Man 1. I've got two of them. And 25 are best offer uh, on these. I tell you what, 20 a piece. Whoever wants, uh, wants that 20 a piece, I'll uh, let those go. Let's see. Uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey, number one. Oops, focus, there we go. Nice, clean copy. Little corner game. Does this one have a color break? Oh, it does. I've got like four copies of this and I picked the one with the color break out of it. So it's a little cheaper than I probably have the sticker on the back because I didn't notice that color break. Got a stack of these. Uh, I have 25, I'll take 15. Uh, 15 for 2001 A Space Odyssey. Number one. Ah, here's a nice book. Amazing Fantasy number 15. That one gets everybody excited. All right, Brian, I got you on that. Chamberlain. DC. What did I say on that? 15? Yeah. 15. <clears throat> All right, Amazing Fantasy number 15. First appearance of Amadeus Cho who is a, actually a really, uh, I'm really fond of Amadeus Cho for some reason, always have been. And okay, walk you through. It is the direct edition which is why it's not 10 times the price. Those things went insane. Apparently they're really rare. And so they were, uh, they were going for like what, 1500 bucks or 2000 bucks. But anyway, first appearance of Amadeus Cho, Amazing Fantasy number 15, uh, 200 are best offer. Yeah, these are pricey too. This one jumped last, was it pretty recently because they were affordable and then they just skyrocketed. All right, um, Edge of Spider-Verse number five. This is the first Penny Parker, I think. Penny Parker. This is the second print. This is the one everybody's after, um, apparently, because the first prints don't go for the for the money that the second prints do. This second print cover is also badass. So, but this is this is a beautiful near mint copy of this. And what I want for that. Uh, 25 or best offer on Edge Spider-Verse number five. Sure I haven't missed any comments. All right, so I'm gonna uh, switch this off for a second. And actually, no, I'm gonna walk the uh, secondary camera over there and show you the slabs and then I'll grab another stack. So hopefully I'm gonna keep the camera here so it doesn't make you dizzy while I walk. Here we go. We're going to do the slabs. So we have Ghost Rider uh, number one, five five. This is uh, the 1967 Western Ghost Rider. I believe I had a price on that of two ten for best offer. Everything's OBO, so feel free to make offers. Um, Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number eight. Yeah, can't see your comments right now. Two twenty five. Or best offer for nine six white pages. Hey Cash, turn the camera on that secondary one. The orientation is like landscape right now. Oh, weird. Sure. There you go. Yeah. Ah, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> All right, you probably see the back of my noggin. Um, we have uh, Detective eight eighty nine two white pages. Beautiful jock cover. Uh, Two twenty or best offer on that one. Love that. Well, those, that I've got seven of those, uh, but I finally got a nine eight. Um, I, only, I set two off for grading. One got a nine two, and the other got a nine eight. And I still have I think seven copies of it, so I'm going to sell those eventually. Uh, we have ASM three sixty one uh, nine four white pages. This is the direct edition, and I believe I had two hundred dollars or best offer on that one. Two hundred. 
Uh, we've got Firestorm number three, first appearance of Killer Frost uh, in 8.5, and that one is 75 or best off. Fantastic Four, number one, going record reprint in a 6 0 white pages. This one is $600. Daredevil number four, uh, first appearance of the Purple Man in a four or five. And this one is 150 for best offer. Ah. All right, folks, sorry, somebody messaged me and it popped me out of my camera. So we'll get that right back. There we go. All right. Now let me just switch over to that full view for the moment. Welcome to these slabs. We'll go through these real quick, then we'll do the bottom row, and then we'll probably be good to go. Um, New Mutants, number uh, 87, first appearance of Cable in a 9.6. Uh, this one is 225, the best offer. Uh, we'll reach around here. This is the uh, Thor, number one, uh, Fiona Staples variant. Jane Foster is Thor, 9-8. That is uh, one, no, that's 200 for best offer. I have uh, Ant-Man, uh, Astonishing Ant-Man, Marvel Premiere, number 47. First Scott Lang is Ant-Man in a 6-5, and that is 75 for best offer. Uh, Marvel team up number one in a seven five. That is 125 for best offer. This is uh, Detective Comics 385 in a 60. And that one is $40 for best offer. This is the uh, uh, the uh, Sarah Pacelli uh, incentive variant in a 98. That is 180 for best offer. We have a Venom 3, third print, first no cover, and that one is uh, 300 or best offer for a 9 4 white pages. We have Savage She Hulk, number one, in a 9 0. This one's CBCS. 200 or best offer. And that is a newsstand copy of that in a 9 0. ASM uh, 361 in a, a 9.6 white pages. This one is a direct edition, and that is 250 for a best offer. Uh, Captain Marvel number eight, secret variant, and 9.4, and that's $40 for best offer. Uh, Shadow number one in a 70, and that one is $40. And Spider Gwen number one, jscottcampbell.com edition. Love that cover. That one is 125 of best All right, now let's get switched back. Thanks for, uh, oh, and uh, almost forgot. I think everybody saw this one, the Marvel Mystery Comics, uh, Timely, uh, number 81. That one is, uh, well, I made, I told somebody I'd take 350 for it, and that's that's where I'd, I'd be on that one. All right. <clears throat> okay, now that I'm back, I'm back at the comments. <coughs> I gotta go, just pull them for me. Uh, let's see, four or five from the middle. All right, Pete, man, I'll do that. Um, 385.30. The, so Parson, that's the uh, the tech three eighty five. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll take thirty on that. Uh, let's see. Three five. That one's yours, sir, for thirty dollars. And again, Parson, did you tell me who you were? I don't know who you are. And if you told me earlier, I forgot. Everybody's name's different here.
Um, no, you have not missed the 282. Uh, I mean, oh, Marquise Parson. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, man. Appreciate you letting me know. Uh, all right, last four stacks, and then uh, we'll call it a show. And I think the Iron Man's are in. Yeah, it's in the last stack. Uh, um, the 282 is in there. I knew I had one of them out. Uh, why is everybody chatting me? Okay. All right, folks, in this stack, we have a uh, mix and match. A lot of Spider-Man, though. I have Amazing Spider-Man 344. This is the first appearance of Cletus Cassidy. First of all, Cletus Cassidy. Are you showing on the secondary camera, Cash? Because you can't see it. Thanks. There we go. <laughs> all right. Start over here. So this is the... Uh, there's Cletus Cassidy. This one is... This one started to pick up, I think, a little bit once the 361 started getting kind of out uh, up to, up in price. It's still, it's not an expensive book, but it's a cool book to have uh, the first Cletus Cassidy. Uh, 40 bucks your best offer on ASM 344. Ah, here we have uh, Hulk number one. Well, not, I think it's not officially the first appearance of the Red Hulk because he's not in the book, he, but he is on the cover. So it's the first cover appearance. Let's go over this one. Okay, there we go. That. I call this one probably a VF plus copy of this. Might be near mint minus, might be near mint. I, I get wonky sometimes in the higher grades. I tend to undergrade them. But everybody has opinions. Uh, first Red Hulk cover, 50 or best offer. Oh, everybody's grail. Dark Hawk number one. Dawn of the Dark Hawk. All right, this, uh, this one actually is a great looking uh, copy. I get focus. Nice, sharp, clean. And this one is $25 on the dark hawk one. Claim 366 for 30. Ombra, Jordan. Ombra was Jordan, right? Making sure. Yes, gotcha. All right, cool. Jordan, let me write that down for you. Uh, let's see. Do you have Batman 121? No, I am looking for Batman 121. Man, I would blow somebody for Batman 121. I've had a hard time finding it. There we go. Jordan. <clears throat> Let's see if I missed anything else. Uh, got you on that, Jordan. Uh, let's see. I do have a Batman 181. It's my last one, uh, though. So it's a nice looking copy. So I'm probably hanging on to it. I'm a big DC guy. Um, so uh, the DCs that you'll see me selling, the big key DCs, I usually have more than one of. Like I just got another Batman uh, 251, and uh, so I'll probably sell one of those since I just got another uh, another one. Uh, all right, um, ASM 375. This is something. It's shiny, and there's something important about it that's minorly important that I don't know. It's fifteen dollars. If you want it. Which I don't see why you wouldn't. It's a nice book, actually, and in really good shape, considering how these things tend to be beat up on the spine because of the foil. But 15 bucks for that. Uh, nice Venom key. Uh, first, Eddie Brock. Not Eddie Brock, Dylan Brock. First, Dylan Brock, Venom number nine. Got a little bindery blunting on the corner, a little blunt corner.
And this one is 50 bucks for best offer. Uh, first appearance of first appearance of Spider-Man 2099 is in ASM 365. This one's also $15. Hologram, get the thumb out of the way. There we go. Also 15 bucks. I'm almost all DC, yeah. All right, uh, oh, first full IG-88, Star Wars number 50. This is the new stand. I also have a uh, direct. High mid-grade is where I'd put this. This is, I don't think it's not in the nines, but I'd say it's high mid-grade. Again, never been pressed, never been cleaned. First full appearance of IG-88, uh, 12 bucks for number 50. Yeah, Brian, I'll do that. 10 bucks. And on the uh, direct, again, pretty much same shape. We'll go over quick. Asking $10 for this one. This one does have a color break down there. So 10 or best offer on the direct. Uh, yes, Anthony. Gotcha. Oh, wait. Da -da -da. Let's see. Let me go back here. We got newsstand. 12. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me scroll back here. Let me make sure I called these right. I was comments are bopping up. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Um, sorry, Brian. Uh, Parson did call the newsstand right before you. Let me see. Ah, don't turn off my camera. Face ID. Come on. Here we go. Show this camera. It's me being Butterfingers. There we go. But uh, yeah, I do have a, uh, I got Parson called it right before you, Brian. So Parson's got it for 12. Um, and I have Anthony for the direct at eight. So I will take that. So Parson got you at 12 on the newsstand. And Anthony, I got you at eight on the direct. Anthony. Everybody hear my beagles? They love to talk. Uh, yes, I will build a box for you, Jordan. I'm the same way as you. I, I don't see a lot of sense, uh, unless it's a big book, in shipping one book at a time. Um, but I will. I mean, I have asked people to ship me one book at a time. All right, this one's a twofer. Uh, this, the first uh, part of this stack because we have the first and second, uh, actually the cameo and the first full uh, Ego of the Living Planet. So this is Thor 132. Need that camera on cash. Oh, shit. All right, there we go, duh. Okay, uh, Thor 132, thank you, by the way. <laughs> uh, this is the first cameo, this is the cameo. See, we got color break. This is a mid grade Thor book. Probably a five, 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 somewhere in that range, to where I guess this book to be. And that's the first cameo, and this is the first full Ego, the Living Planet. This one's actually in nicer shape. This is probably a, I don't know, this one. It's probably more seven five ish. 
in my estimation. I mean, that spine is just clean. Does have me again, bunny corner, little ding right there, little tiny ding. But I'd say this is seven five or better is where I'd put this. That's actually a nice copy of that book. Uh, but it does have some tans here, some sun shadow on Thor. So that's why I put it down there. 60 bucks for the set, 132 and 133. All right, Amon. Hey, Amon, I've got more than one of those, so I can hit you up on that as well. I've got uh, uh, two more copies of that uh, Iron Man 282. Just, uh, just hit me up, message me. <clears throat> so uh, Thor uh, 132, 133, uh, first cameo and... Uh, full appearance of Ego Living Planet, 60 bucks for the pair. All right, uh, Astonishing Tales, number one, uh, featuring Kazar and Dr. Doom. Again, I'd say that I'd call this, uh, in my estimation, this is a high mid-grade copy of this book. Very clean, nice and white, 25 bucks your best offer. And we have a uh, Wolverine number one. Nice VF copy, VF, VF plus copy of Wolverine number one. Might be near mint minus. I think it's got a spine ding. I don't think it breaks color. My, that one right there. I knew there's something on it. So I'll call it VF plus. Uh, 30 bucks for best offer on the Wolverine one. I have three copies of Secret War. These are all in the near mint range. So I'll just say three copies of Secret War number two, first appearance of Quake. Uh, yeah, Anthony, I'll do that. I got to get rid of this uh, Wolverine. I've got another copy of that. That's the two. And I've, I've been wanting to sell it for a while and I just haven't put it out. Uh, Secret War two. This is the first appearance of Quake. Wow. And I'll take 25 bucks a piece or best offer on the first appearance of Quake. And I have three of those. And Anthony, I'm writing you down for the Wolverine at 20. Uh, sorry, screen must have went black. There we go. Oh, let me split that screen, make it easier. There we go. That way, at least you have something to look at when I put the camera in. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to put these back up. And we have two more stacks to go, guys. I appreciate you sticking with me. We're going to be right on schedule. I had this for two hours blocked off, and we're going to be right on it. Oh, this is a beauty. This is a nice stack. I have a book in here that I didn't want to sell, but I put in here. And we'll see if anybody buys it. It's not the first one. This. Conan's cool, but it's not the, the uh, but I'll sell it. This is actually a nice looking copy of Conan number one. First appearance of Conan the Barbarian in comics. It's a solid high mid grade. Of course, complete and attached. Overall, really, really solid high mid-grade copy, my estimation of Conan number one. And then I'm asking 325 or best offer on that. <clears throat> I have two copies of Amazing Spider-Man 149. Did I even price these? I guess I did. Uh, this one is in desperate need of clean. Uh, it's got some color rub there, as you see. It's got some, uh, some color breaking. So this is the lower quality copy of the two. So this is the first Ben Riley, I believe. Is that right? I think so. I think that's what it is. Ask me DC trivia. That I know. Um, and anyway, Amazing Spider-Man 149. And this one is 30 or best offer. Oh, thanks, Bryce. This is a better looking copy. Still not a high grade copy. This is just a higher uh, mid grade copy of this. You see, it doesn't have all the color breaks, doesn't have a ding, needs to be pressed. Obviously, that will, that will press out because it doesn't break color, but I haven't pressed this. 
And I can't sell it for what it will be. I have to sell it for what it is, right? Same thing with there. Desperately needs a press. That corner, though, that breaks, got a color break there, some color breaks on the spine. Those will not press out. The, all this indentation will. Though. So you can make this a much nicer looking uh, book. You can probably, if I had to guess, you could probably press this thing into an eight or better. But uh, again, I can't sell it for that. So 30 bucks, I have to sell it for what it is, not for what it could be. 30 bucks on uh, this copy, on either copy of 149. Um, let's see, we have Amazing Spider-Man 210, first Madam Web. This is the direct edition. And get some focus, there we go. We'll take you over that. I'm sorry, is somebody uh, trying to say something? If you are, I only heard part of it. Uh, Caesar, I've got more than 150 in it. I would do, if you, if Caesar, if you can do 180, I'll say that Ghost Rider. I, I can't, I can't do 150 though. I've got more than that in it. That's our Madam Web. And I'll get to these comments in a second. 45 is what I'm asking for this uh, direct edition mod uh, Madam Web. And let me check these comments for just a second. Thanks, folks. Um, Parson. Meet me at 25, Parson. How about that? Let me know if 25 works for you. <clears throat> And we'll do the uh, the second Madam Web. This one is a newsstand copy. It's fifty for the direct. And take a look at that newsstand. Very nice. And there we go. That's the newsstand copy of uh, First Madam Web, the ASM 210. And that's uh, 55 or best offer on, uh, what did I have on the other one? 45 on the direct and 55 on the newsstand. Both 210 for 80. 40, 40, 40. All right, Brian. I'll take that, Brian. I'll take that. Um, oh, hey, Roger. Sorry, I just saw your comment. I, I just sold them both to Brian. He is quick on the draw today. The set. All right, got you down. 80 on the set. <coughs> offers, I do offers quick. <clears throat> got that daddy money. Uh, all right, uh, it's getting dark in here now. I'm going to turn this light back on. The sun's going down. Oh, I forget it's winter. Uh, all right, uh, we have Amazing Spider-Man uh, 601. This is just a sweet... J. Scott Campbell, Mary Jane cover. Um, overall, this one is a nice looking copy, but it does have some color breaks on the spine. I think it's got one on this corner. It's, it's light, but it's there. But uh, let me show you where they're at, the spine. I've got uh, several color breaks on the spine. They're not huge, but they're there. Um, and so I will say 20 bucks on ASM 601, it's $20. Uh, thanks, Caesar. Like I said, I'd do it, man, but I, I've got more than that in that book, so I can't let it go for that. Uh, oh, here's a big boy book. Uh, Avengers, number 57. If you guys take a look at this one. 601 ASM and 140, hold on a second. So the... One, five. 
Yes, Parson, I will do that. I will do that. I can't take any books out because I have ink on my hands. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, here's a big boy book, guys. This is a beautiful copy of this. Avengers. A little offset on the print. So the print ends there. The, how the X-Men was one way. This is the other way. But look at this. This is the cleanest copy of this I've, I've ever owned. These things are usually just riddled with color breaks because of this dark cover. But the spots, look at that. That is, this is a beautiful, beautiful to me copy of this book. This is this uh, this is a high grade copy of this uh, Avengers uh, 57. First appearance of the Vision. It's the best looking copy I've ever owned. I've got 475 on it, um, and I'm going to be pretty firm on that because I also just keep it. Um, so uh, at 475, I will sell it, and if anybody wants for that, I'll sell it to you. But otherwise, I'll, I'll put it back in my PC. <clears throat> ah, here's a nice one. NYX five Nix or three Nix three. First X-23, Laura Kinney. This is a gorgeous book. I would, again, my opinion, nobody pays me to grade. I put this one at a 9.6, and the only reason I would put it at a 9.6 is because I know that on the back, there is a tiny, barely noticeable bend on one corner. That means we're talking about an eighth of an inch bend that does not break color. It needs to be pressed out. And that's the only flaw I can find on this book. It's gorgeous. So uh, 500 is what I would take on the Nix 3, 500. <clears throat> oh, another big boy book. This is, a, uh, this is the first print of Edge of Spider-Verse. Number two, first appearance of Spider Gwen. Again, and it's, it's in a top loader, obviously, but hopefully, you can see. It's gorgeous. And if nobody buys these, I am sending them to my boy Greg DeFour. If you don't know Greg DeFour, he uh, does. He's one of the best press pressers in the country. And I'm not just tooting his horn. He really is that good. He does amazing work. And he lives up in Oklahoma, pretty close to me. So I send my stuff to him. Um, and I'll, like I said, nobody buys the Knicks and nobody buys the uh, Edge Spider-Verse. I'm sending them to him. Uh, 500 as well on the uh, Edge Spider-Verse too. So 500 a piece on the Knicks and the Edge Spider-Verse. Uh, if anybody wants to pay that for them. Uh, and now we're on to the last stack. <clears throat> and everybody who stuck with me for the whole night, I really appreciate it. <clears throat> so we'll get through this uh, this last stack and look at my socks. <laughs> and then uh, uh, we can break off. All right. Uh, Ultimate Fallout 4, first print. First appearance of Miles Morales. I'll give you a nice close up of this book. Good focus. There we go. Nice focus. Super sharp. Nice clean edge. Another clean bottom edge. This is the issue, only issue with this book, a little corner crunch right there in the corner is the only issue with this book that I can see. 
So, uh, first miles uh, at an affordable price, two seventy five or best offer for the first miles Morales. Uh, yes, Roger sold that to um, uh, Maurice. I think. Yes, I did. Uh, Parson, it's over there. Uh, yeah, I sold that one uh, as a bundle. <clears throat> um, I showed the Conan, Chuck. I can pop it out again if you'd like. Uh, the UF uh, four is two seventy five or best offer, Anthony. Two seventy five or best offer on the uh, Ultimate Fallout four. <clears throat> All right, and for Chuck, uh, here's the Conan. Run that through you. I think this is a uh, very solid uh, mid grade, higher mid grade copy. It's a solid mid grade copy of this book. Very least. We'll do a quick run through. So we're almost through the last stack. We're into the last stack. Some out of the way. There we go. And uh, asking 325 or best offer on the Conan. Uh, hey, Jamie, uh, the Jamie, I went through all this. The only problem with this uh, book is it's got a little corner crunch right there. If you can see on the right, that's the only problem with this book. Uh, and I've got 275 or best offer, Jamie. Uh, the two Canaan's, uh, Brian, I have to look back. Uh, let me go through this stack, Brian, and I will grab those two and uh, let you know because I can't remember off the top of my head what they were. Um, ASM uh, 49, nay 850. I just love it. it the Scott, Scotty Young is hit or miss with me. He really is, but I love the ones with the dialogue, and this is hilarious. The, the ones I really like are the ones with dialogue, and 10 bucks for near mint copy of ASM 50. Uh, in Humans 5, this is the first appearance of Yolanda Belova, uh, who has been confirmed as the, uh, the Black Widow and the upcoming whatever it is they're doing with Black Widow. I think it's a TV show or is it a movie? I can't remember. But uh, they did confirm it was Yolanda Belova was going to be the Black Widow that was there. This is her first appearance. And I'm asking 60 or best offer on this one. Yep, 60 or best offer. Uh, War Machine, <laughs> Iron Man 282, first uh, full War Machine. See, this one has a little color break right there, you can see. And otherwise, very, very clean. Just that one little color break. And uh, this one is 75 or best offer on the first war machine. All right, so one, two, three, four, five more books, and then uh, pull out those Canons, and then we'll wrap it up, uh, unless anybody has questions. And I'll do the polls for Peter. Actually, let's do the polls for Peter real quick on camera. So that way everybody sees what they are. So we got one. What is that? Iron Man 84, Peter Trimble. We have Infinity War number one. Let's reach in. Uh, oh, that's a nice Doctor Strange one. That, that cover is uh, getting some heat. And one more. Let's see. Star Wars number one. Nice. I think you did pretty well in those pulls. Hey Jamie, I'm doing uh, five dollar pulls, man. Got uh, and there's no there's no uh, junk in that box. They're all good. <clears throat> Do auction? No auctions tonight. Um, but since I've gotten such a great audience tonight, I didn't know what to expect. With uh, you know, it's been a while since I've been on. 
um, and I really didn't know what to expect, uh, so I didn't set up any, but I may do some next week, uh, some auctions. Uh, all right, Jamie, give me just a second to go through these books. I'm going to hit these real quick because we're winding up on time. Uh, I have a uh, $40 copy of Spider-Woman number one. Got a $50 copy of Spider-Woman Spider, or Spider -Woman number one. Actually, not take that back. I'm not going to sell this one. This one has uh, ink smudge on it. Uh, I need to look at so I'm not going to sell that one. I had three copies, and I thought I pulled out the other one without the ink splotch on it. Um, I have a uh, Strange Tales 169, first appearance of Brother Voodoo. Do that quick. I can go deeper if anybody really wants to look at one of these, and that's 130. Uh, Anthony, yeah, I'll do that. <clears throat> Let's see. Anthony Carter for 25. Uh, can't do 80. I cannot do 80 on the Brother Voodoo. Because I really think Brother Voodoo is going to heat up. I see him coming into the MCU. I really, really do. I do 110 on Brother Voodoo. That's, that's what I can do on that. Uh, I got to have 110. Ah, Marvel Spotlight 32, uh, first appearance of Spider-Woman. It's got a few color breaks, little ticks. Got two or three of those. What? There we go. Nice uh, Asking 80 or best offer on uh, the Marvel Spotlight 32 for Spider-Woman. Uh, 80 on this one. I've got another copy uh, um, that, uh, Brian, that I might be able to do somewhere around that on, but not this one. Uh, and last book before we pull out uh, some stuff that uh, people are asking about, Carnage Mind Bomb. I'll just go over the flaw area real quick. It's got two, oops, two color breaks. One right there, one right there. And asking 30 bucks for Carnage Mind Bomb. I can't do 60 on the spotlight. I, I just can't. See, this one's not the one I'm selling you because that's the one with the ink on it. This one, there we go. All right, and Brian, you wanted to see the cans and the price on the cans. So let's see. Uh, 70, 70, 70, 70. What do I have on that, Brian? The spotlight. Uh, actually, go look. Uh, yes, Brian, I will do 70 on the spotlight. Thank you. 70, I will. And Parson, I will do mind bomb for 25. Let me write these down, guys. I don't want to make, I want to make sure I remember what these are. Uh, so 70 to Brian Asher. And for mind bomb, it's 25. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All right, the uh, the Canaan's. Uh, I have Canaan number one. This is the uh, animated series variant. I think something called that. It's first print. That's one of the variant covers. Seventy five or best offer. And I have Canaan number six. That's the first appearance of something I can't pronounce. Uh, and that's 200 or best offer. So 275 is what I have on both of those, Brian. And for those of you who didn't see, we've got Knights of the Old Republic, number nine. We've got uh, Darth Vader three. Keys. On um, all these, these all the black boxes are, are full of, that's a pull box. It's still got keys in it. But all the black boxes are just 
full full of keys that are for future shows. Two seventy five, two two fifty, Brian, and and I will do two fifty for both Canons. Five pulls for Bryce. All right, Bryce. Let's see. That's five times five is 25. Write it down so I can stick it on there. And Bryce, let me go and pull those right now. All right, what do we got? Uh, Dazzler, number one. Nice and my work. Let's see. Oh, X-Men 213. Oh, War of the Realms, number five. This is a one in 50 variant. Uh, Thor, number 257. And I think there's one more pull to go. Uh, Scream, absolute card, Scream, number one. Not bad. Like I said, there's no junk in the pull box. Let's see. Did my message come across, Anthony? Oh, sorry, Anthony. I was making the polls. Uh, 81 and Brother Voodoo for 400. Uh, Anthony, um, I am not going to be able to answer you on this show. I got to think about it. I, I have to think about that. Bryce, hope you like those polls. Uh, Jamie, I did pull yours. Uh, let me pull them out here. We did it on camera, so it would be there. So let me uh, show you, Jamie, what you got. Think. How many did you ask for, Jamie? I did not do yours. I did Peter Tremels. <clears throat> Let's see, Brian. Um, I'll give it a thought, Brian. Uh, if I change my mind, I'll let you know. Uh, let's see. I'm scrolling down here, just getting caught up, folks. We're wrapping up. Uh, Jamie, you had two. Okay, Jamie, let me do that. I think I did yours, Jamie. Let me look. I did during this stack of soul stuff. No, I didn't. All right, Jamie Paul, we're going to do two pulls. We're going to have Fantastic Four, number 184, and Marvel Holiday Special, number one. Aw. Got you, Jamie. That's two, four, five. Hope you like those. And uh, TG, um, I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, who is TG, by the way? Just let me know. Jamie Paul, gotcha. Thanks, Jamie. And for whoever T TG is, I'm sure you'll message me and let me know. I will show you the Brother Voodoo. The price on it right now is 130 or best offer. And let me show you the condition. All right. There we go, got some focus. There we go. Oh, Trent, hey. Like I said, it's uh, this is new, uh, or sorry, a lot of people's names are different when they come across on uh, Zoom versus just uh, Facebook. So I don't, there have been, there's been several people on, I just didn't recognize who they were because it came across a little different. All right, Trent, so <clears throat> one third of your best offer on that. Um, hey, thanks, Parson. Hey, uh, could you, uh, let me copy that real quick because uh, uh, anybody who bought from me that hasn't bought from me before, 
just shoot me your PayPal uh, on uh, Facebook, preferably, and um, we'll uh, get the invoices out. Probably not tonight. They'll be out tomorrow, um, and uh, then we can talk about it. But guys, thank you. This has been a great show. I really enjoyed this new format with the new cameras. Uh, yes, Trent, I would do 115. That's yours, brother. One fifteen. Trent jumps in for the last sale of the day. Uh, and, and definitely thanks everybody for uh, coming in, for staying the, the time, for buying some great books. I've had a great time. Uh, this format uh, has turned out to be really fun. And I uh, just want to do it again. So we'll be back next week. I uh, only take redheaded children with green eyes. That's all. Uh, I can't. I can't pass off the uh, uh, the brunettes uh, to work in the mines for some reason. I think it's something with the height or pain tolerance, something like that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it, and uh, I will be doing this again next week. Going to shut it down, and thank you so much. I appreciate it. See you, Cash. Thanks, everybody.